Hey guys, welcome to Dave's Nano Tanks. Uh, today I would like to discuss bar meters. We get a lot of questions, especially in the live streams, is which bar meter should I get? And let's talk about PAR first of all. It is uh, photosynthetic active radiation. So it's a measurement of how bright light is. And that's what we need to know as reefers. Certain corals require certain PAR ranges. Okay, it isn't like it has to be 275 or that thing will die. But what it is, is if it's too bright, it could bleach out a coral. And if it's not bright enough, it could brown out a coral. So you want to have the proper colors, the proper amount of light to bring out the proper colors in coral. All right, so PAR meters are an important tool for setting it up. Now a lot of lights come pretty much, um, you can follow certain patterns or you can ask people how high are your lights and you know what percentage do you run this and that and with the programmable lights you can follow somebody else's program and you can get close but sometimes it's good to know so um, Pat from Murphy's Reef let me the Apogee MQ 510 okay and I of course you as you guys know have the Senai Reef monitor so let's talk about the two of those real quick um, thing I noticed right off the bat when you buy an Apogee you get everything you need, all right? Except for the wand, I believe Pat said he paid extra for, but you get a probe and a meter, and it works out of the box, okay? You turn it on, it has some, some fancier features where it can log things, or it can just take samples. It could run all day in a greenhouse, but I like it right off the bat for portability. This is the meter here, okay? Take this off, turn it on, and you're getting par readings okay um, it has this additional and you could ask Pat or look online how much this wand cost I think this wand is great it's uh, very lightweight feels like it's probably fiberglass uh, two sections screw together and they are plastic thread screws so you don't have to worry about that and what this MQ510 says somewhere it says that it's for underwater yeah underwater quantum flux so this is made to check water in tanks okay so for reef tanks planted tanks I think it's important so let's flip this over and really quick talk about the Senai Senai reef monitor comes with that that's it it comes with a little suction cup so you can leave it in the tank and it comes with some slide one slide which I believe is good for 30 days the slide is not necessary to take par readings okay the slide is for ammonia and pH monitoring so once this is hooked up to a computer to a computer it can do uh, monitoring of your aquarium um, without the slide it'll do par readings it'll take temperature and it will tell you when it's out of water so if you mount it somewhere in your tank this could actually email you if your tank doesn't have water in it um, something we don't think about but we had a recent event here with one of the other youtubers he came home and his tank was empty this might have sent him an email and let him know when the tank was empty but um, doing some research too I noticed that BRS had a video already talking about the, comparing a few different reef monitors to it, but we're going to do it our style here at Dave's Nano Tanks. Um, but by doing that research, I found out that this is cosine corrected and this is not. What's that mean? Uh, cosine correction is a way that they measure light. Light should be measured from the angle that it is coming in to the sensor. So. If it wasn't cosine directed and you put this straight in your tank, but you were getting some reflective light, it would not read it, okay? It would not read the reflective light. But this one has a cosine corrected lens, which in uh, my opinion, it's probably just the opposite of the lens on an LED light that spreads the light. This spreads its receiving area. So this is not cosine corrected. And so it may not be quote unquote, as professional a device. Now the Senai has a free downloadable app for your device. 
and we'll just take a quick look at it and you'll notice that it does more than just par reading it has uh, temperature a few things are, are um, blank because it's out of water and I do not have the slide installed but you'll notice as you look closer at it you will see that by clicking on just the par section that it will bring up a whole new interface that's just about the lighting and I find that this is very valuable because not only do you have par you also have per the importance of uh, photosynthetic usable radiation and you'll notice right here the shop light is showing some par it's not aimed directly under it but the par that you're seeing doesn't have the per as you can see that big where the hump is on the graph all of that area where most of the light is is not usable to the inhabitants of your reef tank I have a um, video on setting this up on your new Senai. I do have a separate Senai video and I'll leave a link to that as well. Okay, we're going to go back and forth with the Senai and the Apogee. Let's take the Senai and go right where the green slime is. Out. And we'll take the Apogee and we'll go to the exact same spot. Alright. Now let's take the Senai. Go right by this euphelia. Let's go right here so we can get the Senai at the same height. Hope we're seeing numbers. Apogee, same thing. working everything's still on all right nice and high by this bird's nest Let's go right there Senai and the empty click the apogee down by the bubble tip Take the Senai, same place, down by the bubble tip. Okay. Let's go down on this new spot I got for some for some coral. Right on this rock. Move it right to there. Okay. That's the Senai. Let's put the Apogee right next to it. That's the Apogee. Apogee and Senai right by my clam. Now I know there's hot spots with the Mars Aquas. It was a very difficult video not being able to see what you people are seeing. I hope it's coming out all right. Tried my best to prop up the Apogee on a stand right above the laptop. It's kind of uh, crude, but it works. The Senai by this rear bird's nest here. Also right about where my acro is. Let's go right between there, right between the acro and the bird's nest. So that's the Senai. And then the Apogee. I have to say the Apogee's wand 
and sensor, I feel a lot more comfortable moving them around in the tank. They're not as bulky, they're not as clunky, they fit in better places. And last but not least, let's get the Apogee on the sand bed. Let's go right here. And then we'll put the Senna in the same place. So as you can see, there's a fluctuation in the numbers. Put them both up here. See if I can work with two hands. It's a fluctuation in the numbers. All right, well, in closing, uh, we have a few things here. We have, we're getting different numbers, it's obvious, but they're not that far off. And the problem with this comparison is we don't have a standard. So we don't know what the standard is to be able to say this one's not correct or this one's not correct. So as long as they're close, and if they're close by a certain percentage, I mean, if we have a, a discrepancy of, say, 90 and 120, I don't think that's a deal breaker for any coral to be that, that far off. So either one that works for you, I mean, what's in your price range, you need the portability, let's say Apogee's your portable par meter. If you're in the business and you're going in places and need to read lights, maybe you want to, um, you have customers and you want to check their T5 bulbs and see when they're due, that's your, that's your tool right there. Um, but on the other hand, it's expensive. So for $200, then you throw in like a tablet it's a little bigger than this, but you've got more information, in my opinion. For the hobbyist, I'll be honest, I bought this a few months ago, the, the uh, Senai. I did a review on it. I poked around in all the tanks a couple of times and then sat in a box. So maybe for the hobbyist, try to borrow one first. That's always the best, right? Borrow one from one of your friends and get your numbers straight. Or... Um, Pick up something that fits your pocket, you know. And for me, I'm going to say I like the Senai better than the Apogee. Just for all the other little um, things in the app that it does. So, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment.